going on all of my YouTube fam as well as my healthcare professionals alike. I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day. Today we're going to continue along with the bodily system and organs portion of the ATIT's science review and start discussing the respiratory system. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and better yet, hit that bell notification. It lets you know when I post new content here on YouTube. And give this video a big thumbs up. That way other people that are looking for the ATIT's review videos know that this is a good video to help you pass it like a boss. Questions related to the bodily organs and systems will test your knowledge of structures and functions within the 10 human organ systems that are essential to life. You may also be tested on vocabulary terms related to understanding of anatomy. You must understand these vital body systems when caring for patients' comorbidities. Please note that the ATITs will only cover basic knowledge of bodily organs and systems. More in-depth knowledge will be covered in our anatomy and physiology series. Let's get started on understanding how the bodily organs and systems are important on the ATITs. The respiratory system involves bringing in oxygen through the airways to the lungs and releasing carbon dioxide. Pulmonary ventilation is the movement of air into and out of the lungs. Inspiration is the process of air coming in while expiration is the process of air flowing out. The ventilation process begins with air entering the body through the nose or the mouth and then traveling down the pharynx or the throat. Next, the air flows down the windpipe or trachea and enters the bronchi. Each lung connects to a bronchus, which breaks down into smaller and smaller bronchii within the lungs, forming a bronchial tree. Bronchioles terminate into alveolar ducts and sacs the site of gas exchange with the blood. When inside the lungs, oxygen reaches the alveoli and is then diffused into the blood. There are some important lung problems that you're going to need to know for the ATITs. In addition to lung problems causing viruses and cancer, there are some diseases with which you should be familiar. When the bronchi becomes chronically inflamed, they narrow and spasm. This is called asthma. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, is the inability to exhale normally. Emphysema and bronchitis are forms of COPD. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder that causes poor mucus clearance from the lungs, resulting in difficulty breathing and frequent infections. Lastly, another important process of the respiratory system is cellular respiration. The process in which cells get energy from nutrients. Oxygen is required for respiration and carbon dioxide is released during the process. I hope that this video has helped for you to pass your ATITs like a boss the first time. If you haven't done so already, I want to invite you over to my website at www.nursechung.com. There, there's additional resources for you to help you pass this exam. We've got practice questions as well as PDFs of the PowerPoints that I show in these videos. If you haven't done so, make sure that you follow me on my social media. I am on Facebook and Instagram. And until next time, I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.